Hi guys, one more important factor in the complete clinical trial process, clinical research process is data analysis. Till now we have covered clinical research, clinical data management. Now we are getting into data analysis that is using SAS. Most of the pharmaceutical companies here yeah, most are able to analyze data that is SAS software. In the SAS, the beginning job position I could see is as a SAS programmer. What are the job roles in SAS programming? You see, once you get the data from the database, once it pushes you to the SAS, the programmer has to handle the basic things. So, as a SAS programmer in the farm sector, he provides statistical programming support for the statisticians and the statistical programming expertise. He helps in writing programs to create statistical tables, listings, and graphs independently to see of statistical tables listings and graphs, you know, there are multiple job designations with SAS departments like starting from the low to high level like junior SAS analyst, SAS programmer, senior SAS programmer, biostatistician, you know, for senior biostatistician in Europe, they pay 100 to 300 pounds per hour in Europe, that's a big amount, but you need to have a very good skill as a biostatistician. And the major goals of a programmer is, he captures the data from different sources like external source formats like Excel, Access, or Text, or from DBMS tables, that is from SQL or correctly database servers. He converts the data from a unstandard to a standard format like unblinding the data values like in simple terms, converting of decoding the values, which internally making the data ready for analysis. So SAS has to validate the data for standards using CDISC standards guidelines where followed C dash, ODM, SDTM and ADAM standards and by maintaining SOP standards of the client and also maintaining 21 CFR part level compliance data which can be used in archiving the data in the database for analysis. A programmer subsets the data using traditional statements like if then where, when, and also sorting the data for full or partial analysis. A SAS programmer evaluates the values of dates and time for validations during analysis, like maintaining sufficient standards of ISO 8601, basic and extended notations. A SAS programmer converts the data according to the ICN GCP guidelines for any internal submissions. He converts the raw format of data into regulatory submission standard format, which has to be mostly in the XML format that is generating submission standard formats. Apply different processes like PROC means FREQ, tablet, report, univariate, test, p value, summary, chart, plot, SG plot to generate reports like statistically strong tables, subject information listings, and also graphical reports. The SAS program during these analysis activities, programmers have to implement macros, SQL programming codes wherever necessary to concise the programming methods and reuse duty of programming codes. The SAS program finally generating standard reports using ODS, that is output delivery system, to generate different reports based on the requirements of the clients, which will demonstrate the significance of the data that is used in the clinical trial, which internally help to get approval from the regulator that is like FDA or DCGI. See, these are the basic responsibilities of the SAS program. Next, we'll get into the senior position of SAS. Thanks for watching this.